So as you think about the design of the bathrooms in your house, let's start with the owner's suite. What I would highly recommend is a wider vanity where you can have two sinks and some storage area. You're gonna to have to think about how you wanna invest money, whether you wanna put both a tub and a shower, or maybe just put a larger shower and how you're using it. If you're a person who's looking to put in the super shower and take the tub out of the owner's suite bathroom, put that bathtub shower combo into the secondary bedroom and then when you need a tub you've got a tub in your house to use so it gives you that flexibility you haven't completely taken the tubs out of your house it's just you've got that in a secondary bathroom which you'll probably use very rarely another thing to think about as you're looking at your bathrooms is how are you bringing natural light in do you have some high windows do you have full windows do you have a skylight i personally like high windows because then you don't have to have any kind of curtain, anything like that that you're constantly keeping closed that actually could create a moisture condensation issue on the backside of the window as you're trapping moist air between your curtain or blinds and your window. One of the things personally for me is I love to have the closet as part of the overall bathroom where you access the closet through the bathroom because when you have two people in a home and they get up at varying times, it's nice. A person can go and close the door, get ready in the morning, get dressed, and not have to be wandering around or going from closet to bathroom. As you think about the secondary bathrooms, maybe those guests or those kid bathrooms, you should think about are people going to use them at the same time? Is there a reason to divide the vanity area? You walk into the vanity area and then you walk through another door to where the toilet and the shower tub is. Those are things to think about how they're gonna use it. If you can get a door in between, it'll probably stop some of those early morning arguments you may hear between teenagers. And finally, the powder room. You're gonna be using the powder room, but it's a guest bathroom, that type of thing. What I always highly recommend is if you can get that powder room out of the major traffic area. So somebody isn't walking from the dining room directly into a bathroom, from the great room or kitchen directly into the bathroom. If you can have it tucked around a corner to give some privacy, I think that's a great thing to do. And so these are all things to think about as you're thinking about the bathrooms in your home.